Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm coming to you from Beaver Dick Campground in Rexburg, Idaho. Beaver Dick Campground is about 10 minutes outside of Rexburg, Idaho. Beautiful, one of the prettiest campgrounds I've seen in a while, and it's free. It's run by the city or county, at least Madison County, and uh, the sites are $5 a night. For five nights is $15. But after October 3rd or October 1st, it's free. And then I think it's free on up until May. But uh, let me show you around. Here's my campsite. Got a fire ring. Trash can. Porta potty. I'm drying some clothes out. I'm drying my towel right here. Picnic table. Volleyball court. There's some swings and stuff back there. Tucker? It's getting too far away. Got my solar suitcase set out. Getting a little bit in the shade and we'll have to move it again. Somehow, somewhere. But, uh, I just took a shower. Used my little Coleman hot water heater right here. Uh oh, boy, that wind's picking up. I'll go into more depth about that sometime. It got to be 19 degrees last night, but uh, just running a pilot light on the little buddy heater right here and pulling this curtain down behind the seats, we were able to stay at almost 40 degrees. But uh, I think I may run the little buddy on low tonight. Look at Tucker sporting his brand new coat. A little bit long for him. Martini, she's got on her dress. Baby May has got on her dress. And, oh yeah, I'm right here on the water. I hadn't even showed you that yet. I went and got my external microphone cover the wind picked up. Don't want any wind noise in my video. I'm right next here to a boat dock. And, of course, the river. I believe this is the Snake River. It's either the Snake or the... What's that? The Fork? West Fork? Well, I'm pretty sure this is the Snake River. There's your boat dock. Panning slowly, panning slowly. Isn't this gorgeous? I think there's maybe about 15 or 20 campsites here. I'll show you this right up here. So nice. I just put Martini in the in the uh, van. I don't think she feels too good. I don't know if it's the cold and she's licking her mouth a lot. I think maybe she might have a tooth that's bothering her. I got to get her to the vet. But uh, I'm going to walk over here and uh, there's a sign that tells a little bit about this place. Let's go look at it. Can I go? No, you stay here with them. I'll be right back. Can I go? No, wind's picked up. It's kind of cold. I'm going to go by myself. Y'all just stay right there. So it seems pretty par for the course. What I'm finding is that when most of the RVs go and these camp campgrounds go free or whatever, well, I had I had a bunch of teenagers right here last night. And they built a fire and it was windy, and there are no fire signs everywhere, but in this campground, and the wind was whipping and they were it was blowing cherries and and. Uh, Hot embers, gosh, 
20 feet from their firing right here. You know, I don't know. And I came in here and I picked up all this trash when I got here yesterday morning. And now they just, I mean, it was windy. And I guess it blew down on, on my campsite. They didn't, either they didn't care or they didn't want to come in my campsite and get it. But I had to get it. Well, I still got some more I got to pick up. But uh, I'm going to have to start avoiding these places on the weekend, especially. Uh, I guess they just, these local kids think it's theirs. Doing donuts and revving trucks and squealing tires and. Someone had the base going last night. What not these people? They had already left. About 11:30, 12 o'clock. Boom, 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 boom. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's getting, it's, it's kind of frustrating. You know, one. It doesn't seem like anyone knows how to act right anymore. If they know how, they don't want to or don't care. Back in the 80s, I lived and breathed car stereo. In fact, I won the very first crank em up contest in Athens at Custom Sound in my power division. The first show I went into, I won it. First place. Decibel, loudness, quality of installation, and sound quality. I went back next year, didn't even place. All the rich kids got in it and got sponsored and but I still loved it. But I would never go into a campground and play the music. Especially at night. Isn't this pretty? There's a placard up here that tells about Beaver Dick. This is not the placard that I was telling want to tell you about, but so there's no shooting in Beaver Dick. Anytime. Henry's Fork and the South Fork Snake River. Where are they confluence, so I guess that's where they come together. Trout limit is two. No harvest of the cutthroat trout. But uh, the grass is cut nice and pretty. Manicured. The porta potties are nice and clean. Kind of on a sad note, show you a little video right here while I'm walking up here to this sign. Just happened to be looking out the window, and I saw, I saw a kitten, and it looked really, really poorly. And uh, then before I knew it, another kitten. So uh, I set out some dog food and I threw out some dog food and he ate that and then I set the dog bowl out. Let me show you that little clip right here. So I'm here at this campsite and I see two little kittens. Definitely very, very poorly. So I threw out some dog food. Where's the other kitten? There, can you see it? There it is. How pitiful. Hush talk. Let those babies eat. They're hungry too. There's no houses anywhere around here. There's nothing around here. So someone dumped them and they're living off the trash. They'll have full bellies today. Lamb and rice. Mm-mm-mm. Poor babies. Don't have full bellies tonight. I'll feed you guys again tonight if I'm here. No way they can survive a winter here. No way.
and set the whole dog bowl out. The cat's like, what is that? Magpies are fighting them for it. What's in there? What is that? Sure does smell good. It sure does. You will magpie get out of here. I never seen that bird before until I was in West Yellow. Uh, no, um, Jackson Hole. It's the first time I ever saw one. I thought they're pretty. They say they're smart like a crow, but they're a nuisance. People don't like them. Oh, what's in there, kitty cat? What's in that pole? You gotta smell it. Come on, kitty kitty. Oh my gosh, what is that? It smells so good. Oh. There's that baby some food. There's more food he's seen. Mm -mm. Good eating. Here comes the other baby. What are you doing over here? You finding food on the floor? I hit the jackpot. Little gray one's still looking for pieces on the ground. Look at there. Look at there, great kitty. I sure does smell good. Smell good. Look, come on. There you go. Y'all eat till you bust. I got more food. <laughs> you get out of here, Mr. Magpie. You're not welcome. You go eat a worm. Eat till you bust. There you go. Tucker, you let those meow meows alone. Yeah, you've seen him meow meow before. Yeah, man, but they eating out of my first dish. Not cool. You run away? You done run away. Be all right. Well, after I cut off the video, I saw two more. So there are four kittens out here. Someone's dumped. They won't make it. They won't make the winter. It was 19 degrees last night. There's not enough trash in the trash cans to feed them. You couldn't put your hands on them if you tried. Let me show you around right here. And they had a big gang of teenagers up here. They were traveling. They set their tents up over here. They were nice and quiet. Didn't hear a peep out of them. They were gone first thing this morning. That's that placard we're going to look at. So this isn't BLM or a private campground. This is run by the county. I wish more counties, you know, where I live at, there's county parks, but they close at dark. They don't want people staying there overnight. And here, these people welcome it. This little town of, uh, right outside of Rex, well, Rexburg has tons of this. Beaver Dick. This park is named for Beaver Dick. A mountain man of late fur trade days who lived on this locality until 1899. So his real name was Richard Lay. And he married a Shoshone woman, an Indian woman, and stayed here. 
get this, Lay Lake in the Grand Teton National Park was named for him. And his and Jenny Lake was named for his first wife. So I saw I saw Jenny Lake. That's a real popular campground. This is a tent only campground in the Tetons. So he must have been a well liked man. Say it with me. Beaver Dick. So you know me, I'm not much on campground fees, but this isn't federal land, this is this is county land, state. And five dollars for a night or three dollars a night if you stay for five days, that's reasonable to me. You know, this grass doesn't cut itself and this trash doesn't throw itself away. And it's obviously it's obvious that they care about it and they and they, they keep it up. So, they even have a grill. I'm so worried about those kittens too. There's nothing I can do. They've become, they got a little size on them. A little, well, they got a little age on them. Gosh, if I was to touch one, it'd eat me up. I have no way to trap them. I have nowhere to keep them. I have nowhere to take them. Or what to do with them. But while I'm here, they'll eat good. Hope you enjoyed what I showed you here of Beaver Dick Campground. The videos run long. I gotta end it somewhere. So I'm gonna end it right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.